What's going on guys? Sharpshot here. I hope you guys are having a great day so far. So today's video, we'll be going over the top three best survivor stealth builds in DVD. These builds are obviously going to be focused on stealth, which is going to be hiding from the killer or disappearing from the killer really quickly in chases. So you're going to be super hard to find and super hard to track for the killer. And I'm going to be ranking these builds from worst to best, but each of these three builds are going to have a different stealth style. So if there's one stealth style on three that you like better than number one, that's fine because because all three of these stealth builds are really good overall. And for each build, I'm gonna be explaining each perk and then analyze why these four perks in the build go really well together and making the best possible stealth build. So before we get into the builds, these are some of the best stealth perks in DVD that if you wanna make a stealth build, you're gonna to wanna to choose from this perk pool. Going in alphabetical order, we have Bite the Bullet, Calm Spirit, Distortion, Iron Will, Lightweight, Lucky Break, Off the Record, Quick and Quiet, Spine Chill, and urban evasion. These perks help in either hiding yourself, sounds, auras, or scratch marks. So yeah, without further ado, Let's get right into the video. Coming in at number three, we have the Vanish build, which has a focus of disappearing from chases as quick as possible. The four perks in this build are Lucky Break, Overcome, Quick and Quiet, and Iron Will. Having no scratch marks and no pools of blood on your first hit taken in a chase is gonna make you super hard to track, and it should basically assure that you're gonna escape your first chase really quickly and really easily because the killer is gonna have such a hard time finding you. With Overcome, you're gonna gain even more distance from the killer whenever you get hit. So this will allow you to quickly run away and gain even more distance in a chase or potentially even hide from the killer with that much of a speed boost. Queen Quiet suppresses the loud noise notifications of vaulting or entering a locker. So in a chase, if you see that you're cutting the line of sight from the killer and the killer doesn't know where you are, you could quickly run into a locker and not reveal yourself with a loud noise notification or you could even vault a pallet or a window really quickly and not give any information to the killer which could allow you to gain even more distance in the chase. Finally, Iron will is a fantastic perk to have on here you're going to be injured a lot and the fact that all of your injury noises are going to be suppressed 100 percent at tier 3 and the killer won't be able to hear you at all is really good in hiding from the killer so these four perks work really well together because you have first the lucky break and overcome combo whenever you get hit in your first chase you're almost 99 percent guaranteed to escape that first chase because once you get injured with overcome you're going to gain a huge speed boost away from the killer and since you won't have any scratch marks or pools of blood and you won't have any sounds with iron will and on top of the fact that with quick and quiet you can vault anything or jump in a locker with no noise notification means that you're literally going to give the killer zero information and be so far away from them that you should almost guarantee to escape that first chase and many chases after that really easily with overcome as well coming in at number two we have the silent build this build focuses on being as quiet as possible in the trial and the four perks in this build are urban evasion sprint burst calm spirit or either iron will or spine chill urban invasion allows you to quickly crouch walk around the map way faster than you normally would have so this allows you to not alert the crows around you and not be really loud when you're walking through shrubbery or something like that and when you're crouching you're gonna be harder to see from the killer because you're gonna be hiding behind objects and stuff like that so you're gonna be really quiet and really hard to see and you're still gonna move around pretty quickly the second perk is sprint burst because this is a fantastic exhaustion perk because if you use this at a start of a chase you can either gain a ton of distance and extend the duration of the chase for a really long time or if you do get a ton of distance and you cut your line of sight and the killer can't see you it also gives you opportunity to even hide outside of chases you can also use sprint burst to just quickly move around the map from objective to objective if you'd want to calm spirit is really good against killers that make you scream like doctor or trapper and not alerting them and it also makes sure that you don't alert any crows around you at all so even if you aren't urban evasioning you won't alert any crows the fourth perk is up to you if you want to run iron will you could do this to be even quieter when you're injured and not make any injury noises or if you think that this build makes you quiet enough you can also go this spine chill route which will help you know when the killer is coming at you and either give you a really big head start in the chase with sprint burst or allows you to time to urban evasion away and hide from the killer so these perks work really well together because you have the urban evasion and sprint burst combo which you just urban evasion around the map and save your exhaustion and 
and then use your sprint burst whenever you see the killer come up close and with calm spirit and iron will or spine chill you'll be able to quickly hide from the killer once you cut your line of sight and the killer will have a really hard time finding you coming in at number one we have the ninja build this build focuses on efficiently avoiding and hiding from the killer and the four perks on this build are self-care iron will resilience and spine chill with self-care whenever you're injured you're going to be able to 99 your heal progress so that you're literally going to be one tap away or one second away from being healed so if you ever do see the killer coming at you you'll be able to quickly self-care for one second heal up into the healthy state and then start a chase and be able to take two m1s with iron will since you are focusing on trying to stay injured as long as you can throughout the trial it's gonna be really useful in hiding from the killer and not making any noise at all when you are injured with resilience as long as you stay injured you're gonna get a bonus nine percent on all of your action speeds which include repairing gens and stuff like that if you do stay injured and you stay hidden away and all you do is just work on gens you're gonna be able to work on those gens nine percent faster which is actually really good and makes you really efficient when you are injured finally spine chill will allow you to do two things when you're outside of a chase it'll warn you when the killer is coming up close to you and when you should probably fully heal with self-care and you're about to start a chase and the second thing it'll allow you to do is whenever spine chill is active at tier three you'll get a bonus six percent to all of your action speeds this will allow you to do your action speeds a little quicker in chases and for example if you're almost done with a gen or an exit gate you'll be able to complete that even faster when the killer is coming straight at you so these four perks work really well together because the strategy here is staying injured but also not being exposed to the killer with self-care you'll be able to 99 your heal progression so whenever you do see the killer coming at you you won't be one shot you'll be able to quickly heal up to the healthy state and with iron will and resilience when you are injured you're going to be quiet with iron will and resilience will allow you to get nine percent action speed which really helps in advancing objectives and gens and finally spine chill works in allowing you to know when you should heal from self-care or if you have enough time even hide away from the killer if you do decide to stay injured in a chase you can also gain a bonus 15 percent action speeds combining resilience and spine chills bonus action speeds whenever it's active and you'll be able to do gens or executes 15 percent faster when the killer coming at you when you're injured so that could come in pretty clutch as well so yeah guys those are the top three stealth builds in dbd let me know in the comments what you guys thought of these builds and if you have any other build suggestions for the stealthy players out there so yeah guys that's been the video thank you guys so much for watching leave a like and subscribe if you're new this has been sharp shot and i will see you guys in the next video